Hello, everybody. My name is Sarah Johnson, and I'm originally from Long Island, New York as well. Um, I graduated from Hawaii Pacific University with my bachelor's in biology with the concentration of human health sciences. I was first introduced into development with MySpace basic HTML and CSS, also with Reddit with Markdown, and it's actually really fun fact, my brother is an instructor here as well, so he definitely um, introduced me into development as well. Um, and personally, I enjoy full stack development. Um, for my capstone roles, I was responsible for front end development, back end development. I was also the Git master. I focused on code review and deployment. Um, for the front end, I worked on the platform emulators, um, which is the uh, forward facing app that you see um, with the help of some really helpful tutorials um, that are actually listed on our readme and our GitHub. Um, they were all created using React and the code that you're looking at right now is our main app.js, which is basically the container that um, holds all the emulator components. For the back end, I assisted with the server, SQL, and additionally the queries, um, which is basically like data manipulation for the database. Um, I use CRUD, which uh, stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete, but I don't know, it's kind of tiny here, you can't see. Um, it says delete because delete is not the best variable name, but I still wanted to keep it as CRUD. Um, and basically create um, inserts a new record, read, reads the data, update, um, manipulates the record, and delete, deletes the record. And as the Git master, I worked on merging the pull request, which is essentially how um, we all collaborated together. Um, we are spread out across the map, um, and it's kind of hard to like send each other code. So we use GitHub as a way to collaborate, um, even though we are remote. Um, my primary job as the Git master was to review everybody's code sent in as a pull request and make sure that it integrated seamlessly with our project. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that nobody was overwriting other people's code. Um, wanted to make sure that everybody's components were working with everything that we had. Um, and just, yeah, making sure that we have an app that is fully functional. And then I worked on deployment, so it gives us the ability to share our hard work with all of you. Uh, typically, um, when we work on our projects, everything is hosted locally, so we don't have to rely on internet or like a server or anything like that. Um, but since we want to share our project with future employers and also our friends and family, um, we actually uh, hosted it um, because it's not ideal to ask everybody to clone the repo and download thousands of files. Um, and then also we want to be able to share, even though it is a work in project uh, progress, we do want to be able to um, share it with people who are technologically illiterate so that they can use this as a tool and a resource to learn how to use um, a computer or a phone. And before I get into questions, I would like to thank my incredible instructor, uh, Brandon. I would like to thank our incredible fellow, Devin. Um, you guys were so helpful, and I really appreciate all the hard work that you do. I'd like to thank Lori for putting all this together. This is an incredible program. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents and my Nana for always believing in me. And Lastly, I'd like to thank my brother, Abe, who again is an instructor here and he's helped me a lot through the program. So thank you all and uh, I'm opening up the floor for questions. Touch, Sarah, thank you for that. I got a question for you. So we saw that emulator that you made right with you made several different ones right you, you were you were the lead on a lot of that can you can you explain to us like how you accomplish that yeah so basically the way that all the emulators are set up is that they look like your device um ba just basically because 
they're images on top of images. So it's an image of the screensaver that you normally see. And on top of that, there is an image, a smaller image of an icon that you would typically use like Facebook Messenger or your folder app and all these different things. So what's holding our app together, ironically, is just a bunch of pictures. So <laughs> yeah, that's how it's all made. And uh, of course we use uh, React and um, HTML, CSS to um, organize uh, the images and also where they are in relation to the other images. Good question, thank you. All right, I have a question for you for Sarah. Congratulations first. Um, question is what how will you use the skills that you've learned here with what you went to school with to school for your degree? How will you combine that? Yes, yeah, so I am actually very interested in um, medical technology. Um, I'm very interested in um, developing software in the healthcare field. I'm open also to um, game development as well. Um, so I'm hoping to possibly do like educational software that also relates to um, biology and science. Um, but that is my main goal is just getting into the um, scientific um, sector of software development. That's cool. That's really cool. And I love that interest and I love the blend there. And it's I really want to emphasize this for anybody who might be listening and hearing Sarah's story. Um, it's so important today that students coming out of college who might have a degree and a program to have this software development experience because to solve problems today, you need to know how to use technology and the sciences together. That blend is just a game changer, right? So I'm excited to see what problems that you solve in the future and how that impacts people and in, in, uh, in their health and, and their um, really and in, in, in the, in the gamification piece too is cool as well because we want to make it interesting right and so if you're going to do educational stuff uh, gamification is, is really um, a great way to kind of mix that in there. So congrats and uh, and we're super proud of you and I know Abe is super proud of you as well. <laughs> uh, it was great to have you in our in our cohort. Um, it was a pleasure. So uh, congratulations again. And I'm just checking that we do have a couple items in the um, in the chat here. It says uh, congratulations, um, Aunt Sarah. <laughs> um, what are your current thoughts for future work? Is the next question. Um, well, I'm open to um, plenty of opportunities. Um, like I said, I'm interested in full stack development. I'm not necessarily tied to uh, front end or back end. I would prefer front end, but um, I do have a little bit of experience with the back end, so I wouldn't mind doing something full stack. Um, I am very easily motivated, so even though I do um, plan on working in the health and medical um, technology field, I do understand that I'm going to need a little bit of experience before I get to that point. Um, so I am open to basically all opportunities at this point. Excellent. That's the, that's the right mindset. <laughs> right. Uh, any any questions? There's, that's the last chat and um, the question in the chat. Any questions from your peers? I, I just wanted to ask for a quick. Um, do you have any um, ideas to what direction you want to go into for uh, maybe a next personal project if you had to choose one? Yes, I do actually have um, an idea for a personal project, which is um, an educational software for um, people who are studying for um, higher level exams who suffer from ADD and ADHD because I do have ADD and ADHD and sometimes it's difficult to study um, without something that's interactive. Um, and then once you get to a certain point, for lack of a better term, things are boring and it's hard to stay focused. So I'm really interested in, again, um, educational software that um, is more accessible for people who are neurodivergent. Awesome, and congrats. Thank you. I just want to say that that's amazing project idea, Sarah. Like, I really hope you communicate that back to us because I would be, you know, super thrilled to check that out. Thank you. I just want to say congrats to Sarah. She is amazing. And Sarah is goals for me. 
And <laughs> I can't wait to see what she does. She's, it's going to be awesome. Thank you and congratulations on your job. I'm super excited that you're going to be able to use SQL for your future employer. So, yay.